Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to not my living room. So as it turns out, I decided to go on a little vacation this week. So I still have another two weeks until I actually start my new work as a realtor. So I decided to really enjoy them. And as you can see, it is a bright sunny day. I've got the sun shining through my window here. I am right by Manly Beach, so I am so excited to spend a full week at the beach in Sydney. So, uh, because I'm traveling this week and I have checked into my little apartment that I got off Airbnb, I'm going to show you what's in my travel makeup bag. So, when you travel, you know, you don't really know everything that you're going to be doing unless you have a very strict itinerary. And I'm not really one to plan my travel, um, you know, step by step. I like to kind of wing it and have adventures as I go. So when I travel, I use a different makeup bag. I'll show you the bag first. It looks like this. So this is by Avaha, uh, Ahava, my mistake, Ahava. And this is the Jet Setter uh, Toiletries kind of bag. And I use it for all my makeup. I love it because it is like this plasticky kind of covering so no liquids can seep through it and no liquids can get out of it because when you're traveling the last thing you want is all your makeup or your toiletries to leak and to get all over your clothes and things. So we're going to take a look inside the Jet Setter Pack. Ready, set, jet. So one thing I really love about this bag is that it has this circular zipper so I can completely open it like that and take a look at everything that's inside without it all falling out and I don't have to like dig through and try to find things in the dark of the bag. It's really easy to find everything. So I'm going to start and show you some of the things that I have in here for all these different things I may be doing while I'm at the beach. So let's get a little closer and I will begin. So the first thing of course is my Maybelline Dream Air Foam Foundation. I love um, airbrush style makeup so I use that whenever I can and I know it is being discontinued but I got like the last bottle and I love it. So I'm gonna use that up and then try out some new foundations, airbrush style ones, because they just seem to be the best. I just love airbrush makeup, it's just amazing. So um, before I put that on, I actually primed my face. I've been using this Nude by Nature um, primer and this is specifically for airbrush. It's Undercover Airbrush Mineral Primer. So I totally recommend that before you use an airbrush foundation. And then once you have your foundation on, I always use the Nude by Nature um, powders. So um, they come in these three little containers. I carry them because they're nice and little. They're very easy to travel with. So you use um, the mineral cover, so that works as a concealer. And I combine that with my other little great travel um, concealer. This is by Rimmel. So it's just a tube style, uh, but I've used this for under my eyes mostly because I need extra concealer to hide dark circles. So those concealers, and then I use Nude by Nature bronzer and Nude by Nature finishing um, powder to set my makeup. So I carry all of those. I carry two brushes. Um, I use one brush for concealer and one brush for bronzer. So I keep those separate and then they don't get as dirty. And then I always carry a little compact mirror. So just in case ooh, I can get a little reflection there. That's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> and yeah, if you don't have a mirror with you, you know, or a camera with you and you need to touch up your makeup, the compact's great. I use my little lady eyeliner, liquid black eyeliner. I take with me lots of bobby pins. There's all sorts of bobby pins in here in case I need to tie my hair back or make a bun. My hair is quite fine so it gets really slippery in a bun so I have to use a minimum of four bobby pins. Um, if I'm going on an airplane or anywhere that's a little bit dry, it's actually a little bit dry in this apartment, I need to bring my clear eyes. 
So I always bring a little squirt bottle of clear eyes to keep my eyes from getting too red. Um, my Tony Moly Lip Stain. This is a nice tint, my pink one. I'm wearing this now. I always put it over my lipsticks. The lipsticks I use, I've got this one from NYX. This is Raspberry. I put that on first and then to, oops, wrong side. To add to that, I use this pink color by Rimmel. This is Dreamer and it has shimmer in it. So I start with the raspberry base and then I use the shimmer just in my bow and at the bottom to add dimension. So those are my three travel lip products. Um, and also a lip liner for the bottom to make that bottom lip just a lot more full. And then I use an extra bronzer with SPF if I'm going to the beach, which I am today, so I'm going to throw that on. And my brown mascara that I don't use on my eyes, I use on my eyebrows to make them darker. And a little brush here from Benetint that I use with that to control that. And my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. I don't go anywhere without mascara. It is amazing. Blackest black. And then I've got in here just some Q-tips for touch-ups, always for the eyes and the eyebrows. I use Q-tips to touch up. And tweezers. Um, you never know when you might need to do your brows, so tweezers always go with me in this travel pack. But that's everything that I carry in here, so I put it all in. It all fits nicely and it zips up and it's perfect for going through the airport or you know, I can very easily put everything in a plastic bag and then put it in here, show the airport people, and then I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, what's in my airport or travel makeup bag session. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, subscribe to my channel. Bye guys.